I'm certainly not going to outmuscle a lot of guys because of my uh, frame and stuff. But so I got to try and uh, you know work extra hard to make up for my lack of size when I'm out there. Tony played like he was six foot four, and in like a five nine body. Tony was uh, extremely feisty. Played bigger than his size actually was, uh, and you know for the most part it was one of the reasons he excelled in the National Hockey League and, and had a great career. Raised in Downers Grove, Illinois. Hockey was in Granado's blood at a young age. You know, my oh, three other brothers played. My dad was coaching. We had tickets to the Chicago Blackhawks. My sister loved watching hockey. It, it's always been a part of our family from the very beginning. Tony Granado was drafted by the New York Rangers in the sixth round out of high school. And after playing four seasons at the University of Wisconsin, he joined the Rangers and had an immediate impact. Granado shoots, saved by Mason. Rebound, score! Tony Granado! His first NHL goal! I think that's actually where it really set in that Tony was a really good hockey player because he was leading the league in rookie scoring that year. Granado finished the season with 36 goals, still the franchise record for goals by a rookie. Do you believe Tony Granado? He's got the hat trick. Despite the success after his first season, where he finished third for the Calder Trophy voting, the Rangers traded Granada across the country to the Los Angeles Kings, where he scored 30 or more goals in each of his first full three seasons in L.A. He was the, the heart and soul of our team. He's one of those guys that every day brought a smile to the rink, and in every game, every single shift, he gave everything he had. And then, in January of 1996, Granado suffered a devastating head injury, one that resulted in bleeding to the left lobe of his brain. I never thought he would ever play again, no. Uh, now, I think once the doctor said, you have a chance to play, I think everyone looked at it a little different because we knew what Tony would do. Incredibly, Granado was back the following season, this time as a member of the San Jose Sharks. Tony Granado tipped it in for his third goal of the night. Granado made the All-Star team in 1996-97, scoring 25 goals that year. His inspiring comeback earned him the Bill Masterton Trophy, which is presented annually to a player who best exemplifies the qualities of perseverance, sportsmanship, and dedication to the game. Tony played four more seasons with the Sharks before ending his career following the 2000-2001 season. Over his 13-year career, he tallied 248 goals and 492 points. Though his time on the ice may have come to an end, Tony Granato found a second life behind the bench. He became an assistant coach with the Avalanche and remained in that position until the 2002-2003 season, when he was promoted to head coach midway through the year. I've been in this game a long time. Uh, I know what I can bring to the team, and I'm looking forward to the challenge. Over the final 51 games of that season, the Avs went 32-11-4-4 under Granado's watch and finished first in the Northwest Division. All right, boys, uh, early decisions. Let's get them on their heels right away, boys. Let's get the puck in deep. I, I think he took the same steps to, to coaching as he did uh, with, with hockey, and that revolved around the passion. He wanted all those players to play at their highest level because that, for him, was the reward. Following his time as head coach of Colorado, Granado joined the coaching staff of the Pittsburgh Penguins, followed by the Detroit Red Wings, before finally accepting the job he was meant for, head coach of his alma mater, the University of Wisconsin. I think along with all the wonderful experiences that he's had, not only as a player, but a coach, you know, he can bring that uh, to his team and to his coaching staff. Granado helped transform the program back into a powerhouse. You know, taught me a lot of lessons on and off the ice, taught me how to be, you know, kind of mature in those two years that I had with him, just to be consistent and kind of be a leader in your own way. And he's like a father figure for me um, with all the things he's helped me with and developed me into the player I am right now and most importantly, the person I am. After his experience in the NHL and as a college coach, 30 years after Granado played in the 1988 Olympics, he was named the head coach of the 2018 USA squad. It's been quite a lifetime in hockey for the undersized forward. Tony Granado represents USA hockey. There's a lot of little kids that probably look up to Tony Granado and he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. A terrific career, terrific competitor, the passion he brought. He was a terrific ambassador.